What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You're tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pup Guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, it is time for this week's Funko Pop Hunt and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a really good hunt. So we go to a couple of stores looking for some new stuff that I am after. Um, particularly, there's a new ad icon that I'm looking for and some new Parks and Rec Pops. I also come across an awesome deal on a Facebook Marketplace, or I guess, well, it's KSL Classifieds here in Utah. So on Classifieds, I come across a really good deal on some really really solid pops and um, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I also wanted to mention to you guys for anybody that won anything on the auction with uh, DTLA and I, those orders are gonna be processed here pretty soon. I just got back from one day trip to Arizona and so I just barely got back and that's, I'm filming this pretty much that day. So I'll be getting to your orders very soon and I'll be sending you guys stuff on Instagram. So don't worry about that. If you're wondering about that, it's being worked on. All right guys, so let's get into the video and um, yeah, let's see what I find. All right, guys, so I'm here at Walmart. I bought something for my wife. She's going to love it. Anyways, that's beside the point. But I did want to show off that they did get in some new Space Gen stuff here. So they have the lunch boxes, they have some pins, and like a whole entire case of the flocked Taz Pops back there, which is kind of funny when I'm looking for everything. And then after I find it, it's everywhere. So, And then more of the Space Jam stuff over here. They have some of the Seinfeld mini moments. I checked. There's no chases. Um, they have this cool box, a Hanna-Barbera. It's like a cereal box collection thing. Kind of interesting. That looks pretty cool. And a bunch of other pops over there. Oh, there is the new LeBron James that's up here. 30 inch, or 30 inch, 30 bucks. 10 inch LeBron James. And then just more of the same stuff over here that I've seen past couple times I've been here. I guess the Goonies pops are new. Some of these uh, Solar Opposite pops I guess are new too, which I don't really think these look much like pops. I think it's the eyes that kind of you know, kind of destroy it for me. But anyways, guys, um, there you guys go. I think that's probably it as far as new stuff that I can see. The next day. So guys, so I'm out here, um, well, a little bit past my house, probably about like 20, 25 minutes. I'm about to do a uh, Utah Classifieds deal. It's kind of like Craigslist, KSL is what we call it here. Anyways, and I'm gonna pick up some really cool pops for like retail that aren't retail. They're vaulted, pretty expensive pops, and I'm gonna get a really good deal on them. But we're gonna go into GameStop first. There's a Target this way, Walmart that's over there. We'll stop by those places first, and then we will do our deal. But let's head into GameStop. All right, guys, going into GameStop, um, I feel like I can never like actually speak in GameStop because it's always really quiet, but at this one, it seemed like they had a lot of the new exclusives and everything. So um, up here, um, more of the same. I mean, there were some new music pops, Brock's pops up there. Sly Cooper exclusive, which is awesome to see. I love the Sly Cooper pop, but I already had gotten that one. There also is a uh, Daniel Fortescue that's down there as well. Um, there is the new Creed pop. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Definitely debating on getting that one, but cool to see some new stuff in there at least. All right, guys. Well, GameStop had some pretty good stuff, but it's the stuff that I already had. So, you know, pretty cool, but cool to see some new stuff. We're going to go into Target, see if they've got anything good. All right, guys. So I'm here back at the pop section at Target. Nothing too crazy, honestly. They have this, uh, is it Bakugan exclusive? And then a bunch of other stuff back in there. There's like some Mighty Ducks. There's this Omega from Star Wars. I think that's the new Disney Plus show. Some Space Jam, some Seinfeld that's mixed in there. Ninja Turtle stuff for NECA. Those are actually pretty cool. There's Kramer, Luca. But yeah, other than that, I don't really see anything too crazy here other than those couple little things. But, you know, it's fun to actually see some new pops at Target because, you know, sometimes it's hit and miss and sometimes it's really good. So it's kind of an in-between time, but still pretty cool. All right, guys, next up is probably one of the fanciest Walmarts I've ever seen that's on the outside. So bougie Walmart, let's see what you got. All right, guys, we're back at the pop section here. Kind of looking around, I don't really see anything too crazy new. I mean, they have this LeBron from Space Jam and it's a little, it's a little beat up, honestly. Um, and then other things that I do notice, some of the new Goonies pops, some Seinfeld stuff. Also, some of the uh, mini moments, which if we had a chase, it'd probably be gone by now, but I'm not really collecting those, so it's not a big deal to me. They did have the Rock and uh, Mankind 2 pack, which I don't really see often a ton at my Walmarts, at least. Fig pins, all that fun stuff is over here. I do notice that they have some more pops over there, so uh, maybe we'll go check that out real quick. All right, guys, it's really loud over here with music and everything, but it's more of the same stuff, Space Jam stuff, some Mortal Kombat, Shang-Chi, so, and then some t-shirts down there, so it's pretty much all the same stuff that I've seen before. 
All right, guys, so I'm about to go get this deal done. Um, I don't know how much footage I'll actually get because it's kind of hard to get footage of doing a deal like on KSL or whatever, the classified. So should be interesting, but I'm excited to pick up these pops and show them off to you. Hello. How are you today? Pretty good. Good. Okay. Just got the cash for you. I'll just give that to you up front. So let me just, I'll just make sure everything's good in here. Yeah, they should be good. Okay. So you a big pop collector or? Um, I used to be. I'm just kind of getting into this stuff. So I'm them. <laughs> just phasing out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, you got Fry, Grover. Okay, I think we're good. All right, thank you. Right. Have a good one. All right, guys, so I'm about to head into the mall, but I wanted to show off to you my haul here. So boxes are a little bit dusty. This is pretty obvious that these were probably just sitting on a shelf somewhere or like in a closet probably. Um, but I don't know. Oh, there's a little bit of a glare on there. I wonder if we can adjust that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Anyways, guys, so this is what we ended up picking up. Um, we'll go over prices and everything later, but I paid 45 for everything, which I thought was a really good deal. But we have Herschel from The Walking Dead, obviously a solid pickup. Garnett from uh, Steven Universe, and this is the Hot Topic pre-release one. So also a pretty solid one. We also have Grover, so there's a couple of reoccurring ones that I've already found, but these will go great for trade or even for the auction tonight. Also there's Fry. Fry is gonna be in my collection. It's got a little bit of window damage on the front, but I don't really mind. It's not a big deal to me. And then we also have Oscar the Grouch was pinched a little bit on the plastic right there, but also a really good deal. So all for 45 bucks, I thought we came out really good. And like I said, we'll talk about price later and everything. But um, if you guys know Pops, obviously you do. If you're watching this channel, you know that these are definitely worth more than, a, than 45 bucks. So we'll get into that later, but let's go into the mall and let's wrap things up. All right, guys, let's head into Entertain Mart and uh, see if they got anything new. Okay, Entertain Mart, they actually had a good mix of like restocked things. Uh, so there's Appa from Avatar, which I feel like that's a pretty decent one to see. Um, and then they had some Funko Sodas, there's Thanos over there. There's also a Jack Torrance, which is cool. A couple of other just like special edition ones like that uh, Edward Scissorhands. There's Kevin from The Office, a somewhat older one. Ron Swanson is a good one as well. Um, and then on the other side, there was a couple of mixed good things in here too. Some anime stuff that I hadn't seen in a while. Dwight as like a Darth Vader or whatever you want to call it over there. The new Mummy Pops, which are pretty sweet as well. And then they had a cart of some other new stuff. So like Infinity Warps, there was some Seinfeld stuff on there. I think a basketball pop right there too, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, their back case had more of the same stuff. So just like some chases that they kind of price a little bit higher. And then their other pops that are on the back wall. Nothing too crazy over there, honestly, mostly some of the same stuff that we have already seen, but pretty cool nonetheless. And then over at Box Lunch, um, there was a couple of new things mixed in here and there. Uh, there is, if we get to it, the new uh, Coke can that's like the Coke, share Coke with the world or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Allen Iverson, a fun basketball pop for sure. There's also a Kim Elijah one and some Pride pops. Um, and then over at Hot Topic, they had some new stuff as well. The Tapatio Man, which I'm gonna pick that one up for sure. I love this ad icon. I think it's really cool. Uh, they have the Kraft Mac and Cheese, um, some new like One Piece, Space Jam, looking for a chase. But um, other than that, that was about it. There you go. All right, we're back. So uh, I'm excited to show you guys what I ended up getting. This might be a little bit out of order, but um, yeah. So this one that I got at Hot Topic, this was the only in-store purchase that I ended up making, but I've been kind of a little bit 50-50 on ad icons lately. I'm just, I don't know, it's kind of fizzled out for me. I like to focus on things that I really like and like the serial characters. And this just happens to be one of those things that I really like. So this right here is the Top of Teal Man. Guys, check that out. So I'm a big fan of just like um, like Mexican food, hot sauces in general, and um, Tapatio is definitely up there. You can see on the back, that's what it would look like on the bottle with the uh, Tapatio Man mascot, how that would look like if you actually bought the hot sauce. But what I love about this pop is, it, you know, it looks like him obviously, and he's holding his own hot sauce. Guys, that is awesome. Like super cool like i without a doubt i think this is one of my favorite ad icons for sure i'm definitely going to take a really cool picture with this guy i love taking pictures with uh, some of the pops that i pick up and this would be a good one i've got a good idea for it but uh yeah i would love to actually see the uh, cholula lady um which is another hot sauce as a funko pop i don't know if it's quite to the popularity as tapatio but um if it happened let's make it happen guys if i'm talking to the right people cholula lady as a funko pop 
I think it would be great. But anyways, guys, top it to you, man. We'll definitely do for now, and he is epic. Looks awesome. Okay, so next up, guys, is the deal that I ended up doing on Classifieds. Uh, so I got five pops for a total of 45 bucks. So if you even that out, that's a little bit less than retail. I guess that's about like nine, eight or nine dollars, right, a piece. But these are definitely not worth eight or nine dollars now. So let's dive into it and we'll do value and we'll show each one off individually. Okay, so let's show this one off first. This is Garnet from uh, Steven Universe, and this is the one that has the Hot Topic pre-release sticker that's on the front right there. Sometimes, I don't know if these have still do, done this with like the pre-release exclusives, having that sticker on the front. It might have been a little bit, but yeah, this is from 2015. I never really watched Steven Universe. I think it was um, a little bit after my time as far as me getting into like that kind of style of like cartoons and stuff like that. But I know that it was a pretty popular show and I know it's not on the air anymore. But um, yeah, this is a pretty solid pop. According to Pop Price Guide, or not Pop Price Guide, but the Funko app, it is at 31 bucks, so definitely a good pickup. It might even be a little bit more with that pre-release. I don't know, I don't imagine it's a ton more, but I would think it's a, at least a little bit more valuable with that. But anyways, guys, good pickup. There you go, there's the first one. All right, guys, for all you Walking Dead fans out there, this is a solid one as well. So this is Herschel Green. This is the regular Herschel Pop. So there is one that's like a bloody version of him with like a decapitated head. So I guess if you haven't seen The Walking Dead, it might be a little bit of a spoiler, but it's been around for for a while so uh, but yeah this one came out in 2016 so also a pretty old one how you guys can tell if what year it came out with so it has the letters right there you see that little sticker with the J is it JJL yeah JJL it's that number right after that will tell you what year it is also a good thing to look out for is that old Funko logo that will be a good sign that this is definitely something that's a little bit older but anyways guys value on Herschel according to the Funko app is 27 bucks so another pretty solid find and I actually really like this because it almost kind of gives reminiscent vibes of like the old mold kind of mixed with like the newer kind of stuff. So pretty cool pop. All right, guys, next up, probably my favorite find out of all of these. Um, I'm trying to collect this line and I only have one actually. Now I have two thanks to this one. This is Philip J. Fry from Futurama. So this one, oh, this one's a pretty old one too. You guys can see actually they bought it for uh, 1099 and it's an older one. We got the Funko logo right there and it says the year of 2015. So this is definitely, in, in case of like Funko stuff, this is definitely an older one. It's about six years old. Uh, but yeah, Philip J. Fry right now, according to the Funko app, it's going for 43 bucks. So for like about the eight or nine dollars that I spent for this, pretty solid honestly it does have a little window ding in the front i don't know if you guys can see that anywhere on that um and then a little corner dent but like honestly if i can get it for that cheap why not i don't care if it has a little bit of damage so definitely excited to try and get these other ones but at 43 dollars for an eight dollar for eight dollars that i paid pretty awesome all right the last two guys these are a part of the same line um this first one right here came out in 2016 and actually i it's actually pretty mint and like i said i cleaned these up a little bit they were a little bit dusty they'd probably been sitting in a closet or a shelf or something so they're looking a lot better now but this guy right here uh 2016 it is grover so i don't know if this is a part of the original sesame street i know they made a couple of different waves but um yeah grover right now he is trending for 26 bucks, so another pretty solid one. A lot of these Sesame Street Pops guys on the back right here have been um, definitely going up in price. And uh, Grover is kind of, I guess, one of the somewhat cheaper ones. And so there you guys go. For 26 bucks, not going to complain. This is my second. I already actually threw this up on an auction. This is already claimed, but I wanted to show this off to you guys. But r a really solid deal on Grover. Okay, and then the last one, which I think might be the best deal of all, this was from the first wave of Sesame Street Pops, came out in 2015. This is Oscar the Grouch. And so you can see the first wave consisted of those five guys right there. But um, yeah, the only thing that was really wrong with this one is it has like a little bit of a window pinch down there in the corner and a little bit of like a crease in the front. But I mean, for eight bucks, definitely not gonna pass that up guys and I already have Oscar but this one is definitely good for trade I mean I obviously already auctioned it off with a DTLA but wanted to show it off to you guys here and if you guys are wondering on the value so according to the Funko app 50 bucks so out of everything that was by far the best one it might be a little bit less obviously because of the damage but we're just gonna stick to what the Funko app says for 50 bucks so guys 
Let's do a running total and see how I did. Okay guys, so grand total of everything, what this value ends up being, I spent $45 right here. These five pops together are worth 177 bucks. So a total profit, if we're considering profit, of $132. So I'm not gonna complain about that. I think we came out pretty good on that. <laughs> Some definitely solid finds, and I highly recommend, guys, if you're looking for stuff like that, always check Facebook Marketplace, classifieds, that kind of thing, because you never know what you're gonna come across. Sometimes you can find some pretty solid stuff, but overall, I think we came out pretty good. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what's been your best find out in the wild, whether it be something that's vaulted or something you know that you found on a really good deal. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. I'm just super excited, guys, for the future. There's a lot of fun things coming up. FunCon, I might be going out to Seattle to see some baseball games with Funko Promotions. And so lots of fun stuff still for the summer to come. So get excited for that. But guys, like always, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.